usually when you're moving most armors, uh, if the problem's on one side, it's usually on the other side of the body. So it all looks like it's fitting in there pretty good. You know, it doesn't look like we have any problems of anything sticking through near the base. Let's check up here by the top of the top of the body. And I don't see anything. Yeah, it looks like this armor is fitting through pretty good. All right, don't do anything and uh, just wait for the next video because I think I'm about near the 15 minutes that YouTube allows. Oh, right here by the top of the armor here. And uh, we'll continue this in the next video. So just uh, hang 10, get your body to fit inside here. Do not change anything. Just do what we've done here and move the armor out from the body and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, scratch what I said before. I already went over the YouTube uh, time. So anyways, continuing. Uh, let's see here. We uh, got the body completely fit around the armor, uh, and now we're ready to export it. Uh, we are not going to redo the skin modifier. If we do that, we'll screw it all up. We're not going to redo the BS Dismember skin modifier. If we do that, we'll screw it up. We did not remove anything from the armor. All we did was move vertices around, so we don't have to change the skin. Those vertices are still attached to bones. Uh, we don't have to redo a BS Dismember skin modifier because unless you actually delete part of the mesh, you never have to redo the BS Dismember. And if you delete part of the mesh when doing a weight slider on the 100%, you have to do the same thing on the uh, zero percent body otherwise the vertices explode so the armor has to be identical with the with you know as it was with the original and just the vertices are moved away so in order to export this if we export it now there will be no body appearing and we want the body to appear in the new uh, uh, weight slider version of the armor so we have to right click off to the side and select unfreeze all that unfreezes the body so when we export the body will be included in the export all right, and that's all we got to do there. We don't have to deselect anything. Just go up into the upper left-hand corner, click on the 3DS symbol, and click Export. Now, we don't want to name it Curious Light underscore Zero. We should still be in our final directory. If not, drop down your menu, menu go to UMP Custom Armors, Data, Meshes, Armor, Hide, Female, final because that's what we're working with now what I want you to do is click on the curious light underscore zero but don't save over that that's our zero weight slider what you're going to do is you're going to uh, select and in the name where it says underscore zero you're just going to backspace that once and put a one there so it's curious light underscore one all right and then we're going to click save oh wait a minute uh, that's a weird error there. I don't want to replace that. Uh, for some reason, it didn't change the name. So let me move up one, maybe select it here, then go into Final. And uh, don't save over zero. We want it to be called Curious Light underscore one. So click Save. I don't know why that happened to me. Um, all right, so in General Options, Game Skyrim, all the settings should be identical to what you see on my screen. We don't want to weld any vertices because that'll mess things up. So delete those three little numbers and click Export. There we go. Now it's exported. Now leave this window, leave this 3DS running because if we need to make changes to this uh, armor when we get it in game, if the weight slider doesn't work, we want to be able to come back in here and make adjustments. Uh, when we check what it looks like on a 100 weight slide version. So just leave everything as is. Go up here in the upper right hand corner and just minimize 3DS Max. All right, we don't want to lose or have to re import because then we have to re import the body because it may have screwed up or something of that nature. All right, so now we want to test this out in game with the weight slider. So we're going to go into double click UMP Custom Armors, go to Data, Meshes, Armor, Hide, Female final this is where we've saved both of ours now a good thing to note uh, on your zero curious light underscore zero if you look at the size of it is 937 kilobytes for mine my curious light underscore one should also have the same file size if this number is not the same as the curious light zero if they are both not the same size you probably screwed something up and this is a good quick note if they aren't the same file size, something's screwed up, and the armor's going to not work in-game when you do the weight slide. 
uh, with the body selection uh, in the character creation. So, uh, as long as those are both the same size, we're good to move forward. Uh, we want to open up the female shortcut to go to straight to the Skyrim's hide armor that's in game. Drag that off to the left. Now we're going to uh, drag and click both of these, or you can select one, then hold down Control and select the other. Uh, on your keyboard, press Control, Copy, Control plus C, and then click on the window we want to paste to, which is the hide female armor, and hit Control V, which is paste. And it says there's already a file with this name, so we want to copy and replace, say yes, and if you get another window pops up, say yes, we want to replace everything that was in the game. And now we're going to go ahead and test it out in-game uh, so we can see if the weight slider works. So we're going to open up Skyrim. Alright, here we are in-game. Oh, we can see that there's some definite texture issues with mine, which we'll take care of in a second. The textures are not appearing. They look all weird, like, oh, what happened? It's All my textures are messed up, uh, even on my body. We're going to fix that in just a moment. Uh, sometimes when you export uh, from 3DS, you get an error like this where it doesn't show up in-game and the armor looks all funny. Uh, with the textures not appearing right and the body looks all funny with the textures not appearing right. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that when we polish the armor. If this has been occurring to you often, uh, it's not a big deal and it's easily fixable. I guess with the latest uh, version of the installer this has been occurring for people and so now that I've actually installed uh, what you guys are using, I'm seeing it now too. It's fixable, no big deal. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to see if the weight slider works with this armor in order to do that we're going to select our tilde key, bring up the console and type show race menu and press enter and then hit tilde again and after a few seconds it'll load up the race menu and we're going to go to body and we're going to go to the weight. Now what's going to happen is if I push over and this blows up it's because we had an error or you, you know if yours blows up it's because you screwed something up when you were moving the vertices and you have to go back and follow through that tutorial again. Ah look it works perfect. Everything moved out just right. You know the what we're checking here is to see if this exploded and you know vertices went flying all over the place which they don't. So we did good here. Everything worked great. Okay, so with it all the way up at 100, we're going to check. Uh, we're going to finish the character, just press AAA. And we're going to run around a little bit and make sure every, nothing sticks through when we swing a weapon. It all looks like everything, all the armor stays on the character very well, just like it did before. And see, now we have an actually working weight slider for our game. So now we want to polish up the armor and make sure that, uh, you know, the textures and everything, it does, we can't see through the armor. That's all, you know, some just some junk that uh, causes, us, you know, messes up. So everything looks fine, you know, no big problems here. All right, now what we got to do is fix these textures on both the small and the large and make sure that the body, we don't have any issues with the body uh, changing color and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out because now we know the weight slider works and we're going to work in NIF scope. Um, Check how much time we have. Oh, I hate those advertisements. Does anyone else hate those advertisements? I do. All right, what we're going to do uh, now while we have the final version open, in our final folder, just go ahead and close close out this hide because we'll deal with this in a second. Just close that window. In this folder where we are working with it, our UNP Customs folder, go ahead and, uh, and select Curious Light. And you need to associate this with NIF scope. This is a NIF file. So if you haven't done that already, what you want to do is right click on it, go to um, uh, open with. Sorry, I had a brain freeze there for a second. We're going to say choose default program. Now, you may have recommended programs pop up. If you do, just select NIF scope because that we want to associate to. If you don't, what you're going to have to do is go find NIF scope. NIF scope, all you, to do that, you would say, uh, you would uh, click on browse. It'll open up your window here. What you want to do is click on desktop because remember that's where we dragged and dropped our NIF scope program application to. So select desktop. And you want to move over your scroll wheel and until you find the NIF scope application which for me is right here. And, uh, you know, this is mine. You should have RC6. Uh, you go down and you select NIF scope and press open. Once you, once you press open, 
it'll close both these windows out and this program will automatically open up and you'll get this. So now here's what we want to do. You want to double click on Curious Light. Uh, you can go to the edges of it and drag it and resize it. You know, so it's on the left hand side. This is Curious Light 0. This is the bottom size. You're going to drag this up into the upper left hand corner. Then you're going to double click Curious Light underscore 1 and you're going to resize it to fit and you're going to drag it into the lower left hand corner. Now these are our originals where the texture was messed up in game. What we're going to do is we're going to fix that texture issue. All right, we're also going to fix the body texture issue that is occurring. Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, close this. We don't need this window open. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video off uh, and uh, just move on to the next video. And we're going to actually get these. We're going to set up NIFScope to show textures uh, in the window for NIFScope. So every time you open up NIFScope, you can see the textures. If yours isn't showing here in a minute, we'll get the texture to show for you. All right, you probably won't see the body textures. But we're going to get the armor textures to show up uh, in NIFScope by just doing a quick setup. All right, so leave these two open and go ahead and move on to the next video.